Hi, this is Chris from GrowQuest, and today I'm up in the foothills of uh, Southern California in Sierra Madre doing an avocado delivery, but there's some issues with some citrus here in the garden. And the first issue you have is you have this beautiful Satsuma orange. It's a Four Winds nursery plant, and none of the negative things here are reflecting on Four Winds. This could happen with any citrus nursery plant. So the customers had this in the ground for how long? About a year, two years? One year. About a year. And it's the plant has taken off in growth. Unfortunately, most of it, if not all of it's root stock that could have been trimmed and that energy could have been channeled into this dwarf Satsuma. So we're gonna look at the root stock and then the cause of some pest issues here. So <coughs> Obviously some very beefy rootstock and there was a question earlier as to how can you tell rootstock from budwood? And then in the case of a Satsuma orange, Satsumas don't have these huge spines on them or thorns. You know, look at the branch where your fruit is and you'll see that the characteristics of that should be the same as the characteristics of the rest of the growth of the plant. If you don't have large thorns on your budwood or your fruit wood, then your the rest of this is not right. So, and this stuff, the bud, the rootstock on this has just gotten huge. We're gonna cut some of it off with the clippers, get it down to size, and then finish it off with a handsaw. I'm not sure there's gonna be much of a plant left here, but. Oh boy, it's even more than I thought. And when cutting any tree, you always want to cut an angle so the water doesn't sit on the branch. Even though this is just a temporary cut. So all of this was just wasted energy channeled into the rootstock and not the fruiting portion of the plant. And there we have our citrus tree reduced down to size. This little area here, this is the Satsuma orange. But we still have for some reason, a probably was just a bad graft. The graft got done over here on the side up a little high and then this rootstock just suckered off the side so yeah maybe in this case whoever is doing the grafting that day at four winds made a little boo boo but anyways so we're going to cut this off a little bit of an angle And this may not be the end of it. There may be some rootstock suckers that pop off from here, but the homeowner will know from now on just to take their fingers and knock them off before they become a large portion of the tree. So this cuts the first cut of just pure rootstock. Unfortunately, I didn't bring a pruning saw with me. I brought a saw to deal with avocado tree box. And the second cut is again just rootstock. This whole huge chunk of wood. Unfortunately, the other issue here on the Satsuma is it's covered in ants. And as we've talked about on citrus before, ants mean a pest problem. Aphids, 
mealybug scale, Connie Cushy scale, in this case San Jose scale. And there's a, my camera isn't great, but there's all these little pimples here on this rootstock. And that's the scale, and the ants are eating the poop from the scale. And the scale is really heavy on these tender new leaves and stems here on the tree. So they show up as these little plant pimples. The first step is to clear out the soil around here, disrupt the ants. You want to disrupt the ants manually in the soil and then with a hose. Hopefully they'll cannibalize their young. The next step would be to go in here to the lavender. We want to pull this lavender back out of the tree. The ants simply walk up the lavender and get on the plant. Some people will put sticky material in the trunk to keep the ants off. That actually has a long-term negative consequence with the bark or the cambium of the tree. Better just not to even do that. I'm going to trim a little bit off here. Make sure it's not touching the lavender at the moment. So initially, because it is winter time, it's raining. The homeowner will simply take high pressure water and blast off the tree. That will disrupt the scale and the ants. And as temperatures warm up, I'll send out a package of ephytus which is the parasite that knocks down the scale, but it's December, aphytus not going to be really part of the program until March when things begin to dry out. So that's our Satsuma tree with scale and massive root sucker issues. Remember, your cuts always want to be at an angle so water isn't sitting on here, and don't cover the cuts up with all these fancy colored tars or pitches Citrus trees are fine the way they are, just cut it off and let nature heal it up.